morning, sleepyhead. We got a lot to do today. We got to get uh, a lot more water. We got to get some kind of provisions so we can then strike out on that long and hard trek. But we can't make that trek till we get some food, so we got to go out and find some food this morning. What are you doing? So I'm making the trigger for the snare. Basically, I'll stick this in the ground, tie this to a string, put a slip knot on it, and hopefully put some bait out there when he walks in. That'll pull, noose him, we'll come finish him off and have some chow. Can you really catch a pig with string? <laughs> it's gotta be very, very strong string. I mean, you know me, I always take my civilian boots as soon as I buy them. I pull the shoestrings out and I put in 550 cord. This stuff is just great because it'll hold 550 pounds. So if you notice, that's 550 cord in her bootlaces. I put that there. He always does romantic things like that. Okay, so that's ready. Now I gotta do find a good place to put this thing. See these right here? The pig tracks. And look at how deep that is. And you can follow this trail right to this thicket. I mean, look at that. So the trick is going to be to uh, have enough soft ground to stick the stake in because of all this limestone. I'm going to build what's called a spring snare. The best way to do this is to use a small tree or branch, bend it over, and tie your noose to it. When a critter pulls the noose, it triggers the mechanism, and the tension of the tree will pop like a spring and snare the prey. Gently. Keep going. Keep going. Got it. Done it. OK, now what we got to do is spread this out, hold this up. We're going to use the part of the palm that we can't eat for bait. Now, with any luck, this guy will step around and get his uh, hoof or his head stuck in there and pull this trigger, and it'll just pull him taut. And the whole thing is, he can't break the string, he can't break this tree. He'll be tethered until we can come and finish him off. So we're going to check on Captain Hawk's pig trap. And we got something. The pig! Give me my knife. Give me my knife. All right, come it's on. Massive. Be careful. It might have teeth. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come, come. 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 OK, do you want to do this? What? Do you want to finish him? I have no idea how to kill a pig. OK, all right. And what I need you to do then is I need you to come over here and I need you to hold his head. What I'm going to do is raise up his arm. I'm going to put the knife in his heart. Little man, I'm very sorry, but we have to eat. OK. <laughs> sorry. I'm going to... Thank you, my brother. We're gonna hang him up and we're start cleaning him, okay? All right. The first thing I gotta do with this pig is dress it and clean it. The best way to do that is to hang it from a tree. Your knife. Do you want me to do this? Do you want to? If you think you can. I'll give it a go. Okay. Right. If I'm gonna eat it, I should learn how to do it. I know it's hard, but it's, it's good training. Where do I start, here? Yeah, start right here at the top. And slice down. Try to slice just the skin, not too deep. And just watch your hand, because it'll go down fast. So poke straight in. All right. That's good. That's good. All right, now reach in with both hands. Try to get as much of the guts out as you can, minus his head and guts. We're going to travel with this guy as our food source as we make our way back to the other side of the island. But first, we're going to eat.